focus not on my steering wheel and it's not gonna do that. I kind of today figured, I guess almost kind of almost explain how I got into lifting. Um, which is kind of almost the whole, I guess, point of what I want to get across with my channel and hopefully the rest of my career if I can actually make it into something. But um, I feel like fitness shouldn't, I say this kind of hesitantly, shouldn't be about what you look like and I don't think that should be your main drive. Um, I mean, yeah, I want to compete in bodybuilding competitions at some point, which yeah, has a lot to do with how you look. But I don't, that's not something that's always going to drive you, um, you know, day to day through all the hard shit. That's, that's not, that's just kind of not good enough to keep you on track. Um, I mean, I know for me, I think that was a lot of the appeal with powerlifting. You don't have to look a certain way. It's kind of just like, holy shit, I can do this. And you just feel proud of yourself and accomplished and you have, you know, goals to focus on that, that don't have to do with genetics. It doesn't have to be with how well you can diet. Um, and it's, you know, I think for me, it's like the stronger I felt, the more confident I felt, the more comfortable I was with my own body, the more I felt like I could do other things. Um, you know, it just made me feel better, even though it didn't give me, you know, even what I would consider the perfect body, you know, what I actually want in the long term. But it's kind of what has like kept me going. So even though I try to train a little bit more like a bodybuilder now, I want, you know, I want more mass and I want to be leaner and whatever. And I do want to look a certain way, but what really kind of actually makes me feel good is when I have a really strong lift, like, um, because I've been so sick for a long time, um, my lifts have obviously suffered. And so it's been maybe like two years since I've been able to squat, squat 225. And so the earlier this week, of course I didn't film it cause I'm stupid. Um, <laughs> I got two sets of 225 for three, um, three reps per set. And I hadn't been able to do that fucking forever. So I was so incredibly proud of myself. And of course my boyfriend just didn't show up until the gym until like just after I did it. And of course, you know, I'm super excited so he comes over because I clearly want to talk to him. And you know, I want to share that with him. It's like, you know, when I feel like, you know, my stomach looks tighter today, it's like, oh, that that's great. And it, you know, that high can last for a little bit, but I feel like to really stick to this kind of lifestyle and this kind of just being healthy and lifting and being strong and being confident, it has to be, you have to find something else that drives you besides I want to look a certain way. Um, I think that can be part of it. That could be a little bit of a goal. I mean, I want to look a certain way too, but I don't think that can be the one thing that drives you. It has a lot more to do with how you how you feel. Um, cause I feel like there's so many people that they don't, they haven't achieved, you know, the, the body that they want, but they feel so much better and they feel more confident about themselves just because they're working towards something and because they're moving and, you know, because they are improving, um, in whatever way they want to, you know, it's like, I, am far from what I want my body to look like, but I mean, back in high school, like I wouldn't wear shorts because I was embarrassed about all the cellulite on my legs and I would wear a fucking sweatshirt in the summer, you know, to like cover up my muffin top, whatever. And I was never even overweight. I was just out of shape. I'm basically the same fucking weight now. Um, but just getting in better shape and getting stronger has really made me feel a lot better about myself and my capabilities as well as how I feel kind of in my own skin. But it's just, it's, it's more than that. It has to be a feeling of accomplishment that you get. Um, 
you know, you just have to find out what what that purpose is. You know, it's not just losing weight. Um, you know, I think if just if just losing weight is all that's driving you, it's not going to last very long. I think it can help you start off. I think it's a good goal in the beginning, but you know, at some point, you can't lose more weight. You don't exist anymore. Like, <laughs> you know, there has to be something else that you get from it. Um, so I think for everyone, it's just a matter of finding that. But yeah, so on that note, I'm almost at the gym. My hands are fucking freezing because it's what? It is 10 degrees outside. Yeah, it's really fucking windy. Uh, so we'll see if I can actually film. Uh, I haven't been, my man, almost there. That's my rant for the day. <laughs> I'm sweaty and disgusting. I figured I'd film this first. And it's always dark when I get out. So, yeah. Hi. I know. Many Exciting cars. stuff. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Schnuggums, that was, that was a little lame. <laughs> Let's watch him get ready. And then when we leave, we can insert the old footage of... The razor and puppy adventure that I still haven't. Yeah, because I think it was snowing that day too. Yeah, so we can just pretend. Yeah. <laughs> still filming me? God, I'm yellow. Jesus Christ. So we're not going to film the children. We are going to insert puppy and razor footage. <laughs> and that would be our adventure for today. Yep. You're weird. He's posing like a picture because he's silly. So, like I said, I'm in a better room now. We're going to one of Nick's relatives' eighth birthday party. Uh, we're going sledding because this is what it's like outside. Yep. And we're supposed to get at least a foot of snow today. So that's great. One day off and we can't really go anywhere. Um, yeah, so I'm not going to put that in, because they're other people's children. Um, so, I did film going around the backyard on the razor and playing with the dogs a few weeks ago, and I haven't put it up yet, but the weather was basically the same, so we can just pretend it's the same thing. Here's the monster. <laughs> go get her! Ah! It's a Yeti! My hair all white now. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> so hard to see anything with this. <laughs> back from the sledding party um it was fun it was just really fucking cold um yeah i didn't film because it was a bunch of other people's kids there but um yeah i just need to find better socks i had like wool socks on and like expensive warm boots and didn't help i kind of my toes were so incredibly like painfully cold that i like super nauseous so I had to go inside the cab so I went in there and warm up for like half an hour um and then we left um yeah but it was a lot of fun while it lasted <laughs> um 
I almost kind of feel like, I don't know, sometimes it kind of sucks that, like, shit on my shirt, um, like, because I can't have, um, gluten. So sometimes it kind of, like, it sucks not being able to eat it, but at the same time, it, it really kind of helps me to not overdo it, um, especially since we made gluten-free brownies and ice cream last night and I finished it off this morning, um, so I was kind of glad that I couldn't eat it. So it's kind of like the one upside. I can't really overdo stuff like that. Now I'm mad at my dog. She, I went to go check the wood stove. And I turn around and she's eating my peanut butter off the table. So she's being shunned right now. I'm trying to help my boyfriend out um, with making like the front and back cover and everything for his new album because he's got his second one recorded now this one's actually a metal album but it's all clean vocals um so it's really good but we can't we're kind of not putting it out there until i get my shit together and make um like all the, the cover work and everything so to make it easier I actually i used to have photoshop the whole adobe suite um because i went to school originally for graphic design but then it's only on that computer. I don't have like a physical copy of it. And that computer won't stay on long enough for me to do anything with it. So I um, I downloaded today, bought and downloaded um, the new Adobe Photoshop Elements 15. <laughs> it's like on my screen, so I'm like trying to point to it. And then the Premiere Elements 15, I was like that. I think it's the sort of a movie version for them. Um, so I figured that would be good because the movie maker I'm using now is kind of cheaper. So I got that cheap, which is super nice. So I'm just waiting for the the email to come through that has the actual download in it so that I can put that shit together, do my part. He said the whole recording part took like a year to do, and this is my part, and I'm kind of slacking. So yeah, when that comes through, I will finish that up. Um, when it's all done, I will show you guys when it's out. I'll probably end this here, because we're going to have a quiet evening and just kind of watch movies and whatever. So, see you next time.